Hey guys, it's Tepco Cycle Repair. Today we're going to be talking about clock springs, what they're for, how they go bad, how they work, and what's inside. All right, so basically what you have here is a it's a plug, all right, but the plug has to be able to operate while the steering wheel turns back and forth. So this piece right here is a clock spring from a Ford. Um, it's a 1997 Ford E350 van, but they're all going to be the same. And what they're used for is for um, controlling uh, your steering wheel controls, your uh, cruise control, your radio control, your horn. Uh, all that stuff is in your steering wheel. And your steering wheel is going to be, has to be able to rotate and has to be able to get that power to your wiring harness to operate other things in the vehicle. So um, what this does here is connects your steering wheel controls, which is this wire right here and the plug that's going to go right there, to the wiring harness. And it has to be able to do that in a way that the steering wheel can spin and not uh, snap anything. So if you look closely inside of here, right, it's a band. It's just a long band. It plugs in right here and it wraps all around here and then it connects to this. Now, if you take this clock spring and you spin it one way, it's made to go a certain amount of turn, turns one way and starts to get tight. And then you know you're maxed out on the uh, band right there. Turn it the other way, start it stops right there again because you're maxing out the actual ribbon inside the clock spring. So when you put this in, you get a new one that's going to be a yellow uh, plastic piece that holds it in place because you want the top of the clock spring where this thing mounts in and the top of this center piece to be centered in its rotation so that the wheel can turn the same amount of turns in each way. So two turns left, two turns right. Because if it goes further than that, it'll snap. And that's why when you put this in, it's important to get it new with the yellow piece in the side so that it, uh, it'll hold this in place. When you put it in, it's perfectly centered. All right. So inside of here, um, it's just a band. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pop this one apart for you guys and show you what it looks like. All right, so before I pull this apart, I just want to show you guys and just be clear that this outer part right here mounts to your um, steering wheel column, the part that's mounted to the chassis of the car so that this doesn't rotate at all. This part here mounts to the actual steering shaft that goes down to your front end and turns, so that's why this, this one will rotate and this stays uh, stationary. All right, so let's open it up here and show you what's inside. All right. And there you go, you can, you can see we've lost contact here, that's why it's not working. This band right here, it's not connected anymore. So the way this clock spring, uh, you know, signs of it going bad is that you'll, you'll get an airbag light in the dashboard, you'll lose your horn, you'll lose um, your steering wheel controls of your radio or your cruise control and such. So um, this is what we're looking at. So you see there's no actual spring in here. It's just a wound up band, kind of like uh, you'd see inside of a computer. All right. So that's all there is to it. This is what's inside of a clock spring. So guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Stay tuned for uh, further videos. Until next time, it's Tepco Cycle Repair.